what the ka I am here at Kirsten's house. She is a food travel writer blogger, obviously an amazing foodie, a mint fanatic, and I've known her for a while and I love her and I'm so excited. So let's go. Let's go. Okay, come on in. This is the kitchen <gasps> that you are love. taking over. I'm so ready. Show me how to cook some good Thai food. I'm not <laughs> really good at that. <laughs> well, you do do a lot of pickup at Asian Mint, so oh, I, I know you know what our flavor profile yes. is going to be like. Yes, and surprisingly, I actually have a lot of ingredients in my pantry and in my refrigerator okay. that are Asian. I just don't know how to use them. <gasps> Perfect. Okay, so I really need you to help to me be. out. Let's see. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, we got some fun Ooh, stuff yeah. here. So I have Ooh. a lot of vegetables down here. Vegetables, good. Uh, for lasso salmon, it's my favorite. I have some salmon. I always refrigerate grits. As a southern girl, we always have a lot of different kinds of grits oh. from different parts of the country. And flour, I always keep it in the refrigerator. Love um, that. So. That's yeah. a key takeaway for me today. Thank okay, you. Okay, good. Well, so it's a Kirsten takeover. Yeah, always. We collaborate. Yes, we I collaborate. Definitely. All right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You go. Oh, salmon for sure. Okay. You said salmon. Let me check and see what kind of veggies we okay. got here to play with. Oh, they're kind of hiding in their plastic got bags. Some pretty, ooh, carrots. Cilantro, you know I love cilantro. Yep. It's very Asian. Yeah. Green onions. Ooh, shallot. I love shallot. Okay, me too. That's good. Look at this pretty cauliflower. Isn't it pretty? I've yeah, actually so never lovely. cooked with that before, but I saw it yesterday and I'm I've been trying to eat more this. cauliflower and like I've been doing cauliflower rice actually. I love cauliflower. Um, and so I thought I would try that. Okay, I have an idea. Okay. Awesome, let's get started. Okay. I am so honored to be here, Kirsten. Thank you. I'm excited for you to be here. So after our conversation in front of your beautiful fridge, <laughs> you got me inspired. Okay. So I want to do a Thai version of a shrimp and grits, Ooh. but with salmon. Oh, I love Since that. Since you love salmon love so salmon. much. So you're gonna teach me how to make grits today your way. Okay, great, good. Yeah. Well, grits, it's so much about the soul, feeding your soul, it's so <gasps> Southern. It's a breakfast, lunch, dinner. I mean, you just have it with everything. That's how we eat in Thailand. Dress it up or dress it down. Love it. I've already added some water in here. Mm -hmm. And we need to turn this on. You need you to get this it. water nice and hot. Okay. And then we will add a little bit of butter. Yes. Because butter makes everything better and it is salted butter. I agree. And, the, but I'm also going to add a little bit of salt in there. Just yeah. a little bit, just a little pinch there. See, not very much. What do you normally make grits and eat it with? I love cheese grits. Mm. And so, yeah, so sometimes I will do a cheese grits with like a smoked gouda. Mm. I love hot food, so I'll put some cayenne pepper in it. And then that'll be a side dish. I do a lot of pork tenderloins and chicken and that kind of thing. So whenever I have grits on my plate, I don't even care about the main protein. All I'm eating is like the grits. Yes. And there, there's not, a, not, not much nutrition in grits, admittedly. No? But it's very soothing <laughs> and comforting. It's what just, is grits? It's corn. It's just ground up corn. White corn. Um, it's very similar to polenta. Yes. Um, basically, so you can get yellow grits or white grits. Mm. We're using a white grit today. Ooh, I'm so Good. excited. Okay, we gotta get this water boiling a little bit. So is it is is it high? It's on high. Okay. Okay, pour it in. We're in a boil. Yep. It's just gonna stir it up so really, exciting. really well. Make sure there's mm. no lumps in there. You know, and the proportion is, so is a lot like rice. It's like two and a half cups of water to a cup of grits. I don't know how many that serves. I don't really pay attention to those serving things because, no. listen, if you have a big old bowl of grits, I I'm not gonna measure it five out. Five servings. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so now let's turn it on low. Okay. 
Let it simmer? Yeah, let it simmer. So there is a little bit of discrepancy. My husband is a believer that you do not ever cover grits. Okay. It's not like rice. It uh -huh. doesn't need the steam to cook. Okay. So I am going to cover it a little bit, but I'm going to continue to stir it. Because you want the liquid to absorb into yes. the grits and like blooming and all that. Exactly. Versus it letting the liquid dry, right. I mean, evaporate out. Right. You can tell it's already thickening it up. It is. So we might not even need 30 minutes. So that's really Okay. Good. Well, this is okay. going to take less than 20, so it's going to okay, be perfect. Good. Perfect. Yay. So what are we doing with this beautiful salmon? So I'm thinking of cubing it, kind of like resembling like pieces of shrimp. Nice. And so are you comfortable with doing the salmon? Yes. Okay. What are we going to do about the skin? I was thinking Let's about that. See. I love skin. Do you like salmon skin? Um, I don't, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, my husband does, and so um, I can just pick it off. So let's do this. I want to take the skin off, and then we're going to crispy fry it up and <gasps> add it like a crispy element oh, on top. Oh my gosh, Let's see Nikki. if that even works out. Yeah, that looks great. How, how does one do that? Do we, can we just um, pull it, or like? I normally, it's going to ruin the texture of the salmon, yeah, so, so I like to, to, I go like this, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half. Okay. And then what I like to, you can start at a corner. Okay. And then you really just kind of go right next to okay. it. Yep. And just kind of keep an eye on. Got it. And once you have a start, okay, just kind of keep going. All right. Yeah. Henry's singing to us. I love it. She's Aww. like, I want salmon. Uh -huh. Why don't why do not go this way where I can see it? Do it. Okay. Do what's comfortable to you. Well, if that was the case, I'd be in a bathrobe. <laughs> So I'm going to cut everything kind of bite size, kind of compose it very beautifully since you are a food blogger. Oh, yeah. And it's going to make beautiful photos with oh, all the pretty colors. You. I'm going to start off with the shallots, and that's like the first thing Perfect. we're going to put in. Henry. A lot of flavors. <laughs> Henry's singing. See? Ta-da. Perfect. I know. Oh. She's like, that's oh, mine. You know, you don't get any of this. You don't like <laughs> salmon. Okay. So this is good. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay. Then I'm going to do the other side and then yes. I'll cube it. Perfect. And how, how big would you like the cubes? I would like probably like maybe a two by two because wow, it will okay. shrink a little yeah. bit. It'll probably shrink to maybe like one to one and a half okay. depending. So here I'm literally taking little bitty florets that we're going to use. So we're not going to use too much of this. But look at all the colors we Ooh, get to play with. I love that. Normally, I will cook it all sorts of different ways. Mm -hmm. But if it's in the oven, I just it just peels right off. And I know how yes, good. There's does. so many nutrients That's in right. salmon skin. So I didn't do as good of a job on this. Um, look at that pretty little I thing. I love though. it. It's like a salmon finger. I'm going to just do that. Can I play no, with No, keep this? it. Keep it? Keep it. Okay. So um. we're going to cut the skin probably into like strips. Uh -huh. So when we fry it, it kind of oh. curls up sometimes. And we're like, it will have Perfect. like a lot of beautiful different textures. Perfect. Okay, fun. Okay, cubes this, like you like this? Yes. Okay. And then we're going to cut it just probably cut it. this way. Yeah, maybe mm -hmm. just one, right? Like this? Yeah. Okay. It's we'll funny. I feel goes. like I'm getting permission from my mom. Okay, mom, I know. is this the way to do it? <laughs> But you're the you're the chef. No, you're, you're the, everything you're the is you do it how you are most comfortable and how you like to eat it because everybody likes different things. Truly, differently, right? Yep. I come in with flavor profile to introduce you to something yes. different. Right, right, which is so great. Okay, so how's oh, you're my gonna love this? How's my salmon looking? I think it looks beautiful. I Let's know. use this plate, and then we're gonna okay. compost all of these because I was yes. noticing your beautiful garden with yes. your compost. I'm really kind of like. I know this is way overkill, but <laughs> I get my Vitamix and I take all my trimmings mm. and I put it into my Vitamix with water. Yes. And I blend it up so that it's a, I make my plants smoothies. That is um, so smart. Well, because that way... It makes the compost go faster. It does. And there's no varmints. So like the little varmints can't go and like, you know... Dig in and hang out and a create piece. a house. Right. So those are beautiful Thank pieces. You. Thank you. Because we are doing like a South and Thai dish. It's going to be awesome. Southern? What is that? Southern. Make? So are you How saying you say? Southern? Southern. Southern. That makes, so I'm just phonetically. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that, okay. I love that. You were saying yes. Southern like Southern. the South. I'm teaching my eight-year-old to read and she's going to, I'm going to now have to correct her as, as Southern. Oh, there you go. You can even say Southern. 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 Well, well you should teach me a Thai word. Salmon? Salmon? No. That is, that's not Thai. That's not Thai. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so we're actually gonna do a pot picking. Pot picking. Pot picking. Yep. So that is gonna be the style of the sauce that we're making with our mm. salmon. Salmon? 
Is it salmon or salmon? I say salmon. Salmon is because you're southern? Well, it is. Although I know a guy from Georgia and he says salmon. Salmon. I know. That's See, a, that's he a actually mouthful. pronounced it I know. how it's spelled. I know. This well, English language. I know. It is really one of the most difficult languages to learn. And you are the expert. Well, no. I just grew up speaking it. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready to fry this baby up. I'm excited. Me okay. too. Okay, listen. Okay, this is, ready. Is this your walk? This is the walk that I take around. I got this when I was home a lot. And I was cooking in the oh, house. Oh, right. Exactly. And we love nonstick. But this uh -huh. is like a nonstick without the coating. You know what? It's actually beautiful. And it's so pretty. It looks like honey. Like yes, honeycomb. like honeycombs. And that's like t the technology around the pan. You're kidding. Very cool. So it doesn't stick. So let's test this salmon skin okay, out. Okay, so I just dip some well, oil. I've always kind of wondered, do you make the pan hot and then add the oil? Or do you add a cold, like cold oil to a cold pan and then bring it up to heat? I am so used to not really worrying about it as long as my ore is at the right temperature. Uh -huh. So I did turn the fire on, on this time and then I put the oil in, but we're gonna watch the oil, okay. right? As it glistens, as it moves around, you know how hot it gets. You can always also test with one piece to see uh -huh. if it's hot enough so you don't ruin everything you have. Yeah, And then exactly. it doesn't lower the temperature of the heat so right. fast. Exactly. So you're slowly adding something cold to something hot. Okay kind of keeping the temperature even. Awesome. Don't yep. crowd the pan is like the saying here in America. Pan. Okay. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, I'm going to have that tattooed on my don't crowd the pan. <laughs> hashtag. Right there. Hashtag. <laughs> it's also induction. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That's brilliant. So smart, these people. Okay. What is the brand? Just... It's a uh, Hexclad. Hexclad. Yes. Okay. I have Love a link it. on my, uh, on oh, my good. Okay. page. Let's marinate this salmon just a little bit. Okay. Give it like a little extra flavor. Okay, good. Oh, I stir love that. Stir fry sauce. Chef Nikki's stir fry sauce. So are you gonna <laughs> do the skin also? No, I think I'm just gonna do these because okay. I actually do not want to add liquid yeah, okay. to something I'm about to fry. Right. Just give it a little love. Beautiful. Ooh, that smells amazing, dude. That I would eat. Like it is, raw. You can't you can't. Oh, that, the salmon? Yes. Yes. It Yum. is soy sauce based, they're probably making you think of sushi yes. and all that. Ooh, that smells good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. See how it ooh, ooh, whoa, careful. Whoa, whoa. That's why we don't want it to be wet. wet. That's exactly right. But I mean there is water, obviously, in fish. Yeah. Well, it comes from water. That makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I like how you're like going all around. Should I have a, like a safety mask on or something? Right. Goggles. Should I sign a waiver for this? <laughs> yeah. Look how pretty. I know. That looks really amazing. So this is like our tester piece. Okay. You see it shrinks. Oh, so you're deliberately, oh no. I was going to say, are you deliberately curling it over? I did not. Okay. But we can always test and play, right? Right. Here, I'm going to do the other side. Wow, that looks great. And it smells it's so, so good. It smells so good. Oh, they're so pretty. Look. Wow. You know what? That is salmon skin I'd actually eat. See? You know, I don't, I'm not a picky eater, but... Oh, are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> we wow. do need goggles. Do you have any safety goggles? Healthy-ish. Very. Very. Look at all the omegas. Well, yes, exactly. All the omegas. Now we have like also salmon flavored oil. Ooh. So we're going to take some of this out and probably leave just a few tablespoons and okay. then we're going to stir fry this. Perfect. Now like we're going to cook the salmon part. Or pot picking. Pot picking. Pot picking. Pot, pot picking. P-A-D. Pod. P-R-I-K. Prick. K-I-N-G. King. Oh. Ah. Pod prick king. Yes. I have met See? some Prit Kings. So you write. Prit That's why Kings. I'm like, I'm just going to spell this out for you. Okay, yum. So aromatics, Ooh, very, yum. very similar to what I'm sure you're used to cooking. Yep. I have some, I, ah, here we go, red curry paste. Yum. And I know you can take spice and even more. I'm going to risk my <laughs> life to go in and smell. I know, right? Ooh, I just want to wow. like to have this beautiful releasing all the aromatics even yeah. from the red curry paste. So you don't have to parboil vegetables when you do a stir fry? No. Okay. That's good. a good question. And particularly in this dish, I want the crunch ah, yeah. with the salmon, which is going to be softer. Uh -huh. We have like a lot of different textures going on. Wow. And because we also have the cauliflowers in tiny, tiny pieces. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So it'll cook faster. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Mushrooms. And mushrooms sometimes give off a little bit of moisture as they cook. Yes. So. A little bit of carrot. Pretty. Yes. Color. Okay. Texture. Also, it releases some sweetness to the dish. Love sweet and hot. Mm-hmm. It's my jam. Basil goes in last. Okay. At this point, I want to season the veggies that we have going on in here. 
So we oh have oh our stir fry sauce, right? You're gonna be like, <laughs> that's it how works. you it know. Works. It's working for me though. It is good. Nice. I love this wok. I know. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's super like, and it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, Nikki, that smells it's amazing. So good. The first time I poured it, you're like yum, and the second yeah. time I poured it, like I just want to drink this yeah, situation. Yeah, no, I do. I know. Like shots for everyone. <laughs> now tell me more about you becoming a writer. I've always been fascinated because. English is not my first language. Uh huh. What inspired you to become a writer? Well, I've started off in PR. In public relations, you really have to be write able to write a lot. a lot. And we had a lot of food clients. And then I've been in hospitality. I was global PR director for Rosewood Hotels and Resorts. Mm -hmm. And so I did a lot of food and beverage programming. When I stopped working full time, I went to Park City people and Preston Hollow people. Mm -hmm. And I said, hey, you need a food writer. Thank <coughs> you. Bless you. It is ready now. <laughs> Uh, that's right, yeah. Uh, you need a food, On cue. a food writer who is like familiar with the, the business. Uh, my husband and I... Second cue. I'm listening. I know, I'm getting it. I'm really getting it. You're um, so good. Yeah, so I've worked in restaurants. I've owned restaurants. I've, I've done marketing for restaurants. And then when the opportunity came, they're like, hey, you do it. So I love, love, love reading your pieces. Well, thank you. They're so, I don't know, is witty the right word? It, it's so different. Worse. But it's so fun to read and thank so you. raw and authentic, authentically you, yes. which is my favorite part. So yeah, I look forward you. to your pieces. Thank you. So everyone needs to go read all her articles. They're amazing. Thank Follow you. her on Instagram at Kirsten's Eat, and it's yes. so awesome. Thank you. I always want to tell a story that why should you patronize this restaurant? Like, what is it behind someone that makes it so special. And I loved interviewing you. Story behind, um, absolutely. Story behind the restaurant. Great do it. people. I don't do it for the fame and fortune, because I'm getting neither. Um, <laughs> but I love the industry, and I love the people in it. And, and, and I mean, that's you, and that's your family. Yeah. Yes, exactly. You're, so I've turned okay. off the heat. This way, the residual heat mm -hmm. is just going to. Can we stir it? Stir. OK. I am ready to plate this up. OK, me too. You want to be. Sure. Oh, it's so here's so our grits. You can see kind of the corn oh still in there. So I usually do when I do shrimp and grits. I kind of like do it like this, flatten it out a little bit, put a little divot in there. Yeah. And then you want to do. Yeah. There you go. So would it be just so rude if I just pick this up and Aren't eat it? Aren't you so just start eating? Okay. I'm I gonna... love that you're so excited to try all of this. Oh my God! What? It's so good. It's so good. You don't even need a okay. spoon, do you? No, I'm sorry. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Here. Mm. The grits is the perfect balance to the paprika mm. flavor. Well, thank you for mm. having me in your kitchen. Mm. Please you so follow much. Kirsten Eats. We're going to tag all her in our YouTube yep. episode. Yum. Shocking. Shockingly Shock. good. Anyway, <laughs> so thank you. good. Yep. Until next Thanks. time. Kum ka. I didn't know what to expect with the Thai takeover experience, but I trust Nikki and I know that she's a lot of fun to be around with. I loved that she really listened to my descriptions. And I mean, we, we went through my refrigerator and then it like five minutes, she's like, okay, I got it. We're gonna make this with grits and it's Southern. I really thought Thai cooking was way too complicated for me. And what Nikki showed me is that one, it doesn't have to be complicated. You can just use basic vegetables that I have on hand, mushrooms, cauliflower, broccoli, whatever, and, and just break it up and just add some of that flavor. It's way more simple than I thought it was going to be. The biggest takeaway from the Thai takeover is that I can tieify my food, whatever it is. Grits is, is very Southern and I can tieify grits by using Nikki stir fry sauce, basil. You know, I have to say, I think Nikki may be the new queen of fusion. People who are classically trained, yeah, they're they're throwing flavors together and all that because they've studied those flavors. Nikki did the Asian fusion, Southern fusion, Asian thing on the fly. I would just say, look, she is the Asian fusion queen.